Hello everyone, welcome back to Jack Scraps and thank you for joining me today. I will be sharing some BB Craft projects that I created out of the haul that I received from them and I shared that in a prior video and I'll have that listed down below for you in case you missed it. So let's get started to see what I created. Before we get started I wanted to say a few things about the tools and additional supplies that were provided to create these projects that I'm going to be sharing with you today. And I must say that these jump rings, these were some of the easiest jump rings to ever be used. They were easily opened and closed with your fingers and that is so nice. Sometimes they're so hard you have to use you know pliers to open them up and I must say I really enjoyed the fact that these were really easy to work with. For both sets the uh, gold and the silver the pliers were awesome I love that they were a smaller size and fit nestled right into my hand so that was easy to work with as well as this key fob plier they worked really well once you got going on them most of the pressure came from the pliers themselves and not from you which was really nice there wasn't a lot of strain on your hand and I would say even with the key fobs, I would still probably use a protective coating to um, make sure that they were not scratched. Um, while I didn't see a lot of that, I would still recommend it because again, this is metal on metal. So that's just a little bit about the pliers and the jump rings. These were additional items that came with the products that I received. So let's dig into the projects. One of the first things I wanted to do when I started creating my projects for BB Craft was to use these cute daisy cabochons. My first idea was to add them to the lids of bottles and these are from the Dollar Tree, the bottles, and I just used glossy accents and added them to the cork for this one and added a sequin mix. This would be a really great little gift for Happy Mail and over here I did it the same. Now I started using glossy accents with these projects and then I thought well it might be considered jewelry for the cabochon so I got out my E6000 and used that and I must say it does have a better grip to the glue so then I just started using it from there. So I put that onto this little lid and it screws off and again it has a little sequin mix in there but I think these are adorable and these just make a really nice decoration. I also created some paper bows using my um, Cricut Maker and I just added the cabochon here in the center of these bows. Super cute. Then I went a little crazy creating these clothes pins with the cabochons on top of them. When I started out creating them I had natural clothes pins and you can get these at the Dollar Tree both sizes and then I painted them. I love this really pretty blue metallic color. I use this like magenta color and then a pink color, but my favorite was the one that had the little bit of a shimmer to it. Here these are, super cute, and of course they're still workable. Here's the little bitty ones. These are stinking adorable. So cute. <laughs> so much fun, here's another one. Yeah, I just went a little crazy making these, but how fun are these to like just clip on a page? So adorable, and here's the little one. How cute are these? So adorable. So those were fun to create. The next thing I started to do was add the cabochons to some clear plastic bales that I purchased, and I um, really like how those turned out. I have a couple projects to share with you how I use those and I have created two ribbon necklaces. I don't know if you remember these being fashionable at one time. I don't know if they still are but I love them and so I uh, put the bail on there and then added the cabochon to the ribbon. Super cute. really like this one. I love the white one. That's my favorite. And then I wanted to show you that you can add a connector to the back of these cabochons and then you could put your plastic bail on it and then add it like with a necklace or a key ring, whatever. But um, look how pretty that is with just a connector behind it. 
You could even just take this and glue it on to a project on the cover or something and it would be really pretty. So there's all kinds of things that you can do with these. And then the last thing, which I was really kind of excited about what I created, is this keychain pom-pom tassel. And I used the tutorial from Amy L. I'll have that link down below. And I love how this turned out. I did add some uh, ribbon here to the, um, the center, added the cabochon on the clear bell, and then added that to the center here as well. Here's some beads that I had in my stash. Now this key ring here is um, from BB Crafts. So this is adorable. I just love it. The next project that I have to share with you are using these key fobs and what I ended up creating were some tassel key rings. Here's the first one that I did. I used some ribbon from Hobby Lobby. This is Merchant 41. This is about a five inch tassel here. And I left the key ring on it. And then I added one of the <laughs> cute little charms that I got. I love that, so cute. So that's what that looks like. And here is the next one that I created and I used some faux leather from Hobby Lobby as well from the Ribbon Boutique. This is the gold. And again, this is about five inches long here. Really pretty. And then I added some knickknack spare part bows added to both sides. And I must say, I like this one better because the tassel is a little bit more loose. Um, this ribbon was stiffer. Um, while I think it's pretty because of all the sparkle, <laughs> Um, I definitely still like the looser one better. So those are some fun projects to create. And from my last video, you know that I had these items to also play around with. Now, if you follow me uh, for a while, you'll know that this is my journal from last year, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I created. And one of them is this cute little safety pin with these beads. Now the center one is from BB Craft, that is this one right here. I just love that it has that little flower design on it. So I created that using some beads that I had as well as the safety pin. Now I wish the safety pin was the same color, maybe I'll find some and fix it, but super cute. And I just love how that really just dresses up, you know, a project. And then the second one that I created is this little dangle right here. I love how it just hangs down the side. And this is a um, bobby pin. And it already had this on it. And this was in my stash. I don't even know where I got it. But this uh, little bow here is from BB Craft, which I love this. I love that it has the two little loops there so you can connect top and bottom. And then I added this bead on from my stash as well. So this is just super cute to add to your journal, your planner, whatever you might have, and then just have it dangle there. Love that bow, so cute. And then the last project that I have to share with you is actually a bookmark. It is a metal bookmark. And even though this says Emily Dickinson, I actually had Edgar Allan Poe in mind when I created this because I mentioned in my prior video I wanted to do something Halloweenish, And so I had this uh, metal piece in my stash and for a long time I didn't even know what it was and then I figured it out. It's a bookmark, a metal bookmark. And so I added one of these charms that I got, this moon pendant. And I showed it last time, but I forgot to mention that this swivels, which is super cool. And it has an, ins has an inset on both sides so you could add glass cabochons. And that's exactly what I've done here. I cut out this moon from one of my Halloween papers and then added a gold star sequin and put that in there. I did use glossy accent to create this one. I added the glass cabochon over this 
and then when you turn it you get a raven which I also took from some Halloween paper that I have and put a glass cabbage on over that so it's quite thick which is really nice so I am absolutely loving how this turned out I just love the whole Poe vibe <laughs> and it makes a great little bookmark that just hangs right over the side of your book so adorable so this is everything that I created with my BB Craft products. I hope that you have enjoyed this and I have enjoyed creating it to share with you. And if you need to see a tutorial on anything, please let me know. Thanks for joining me, everyone. See you next time.